Jacob's trouble, you know, all type of stuff, spiritual powers, that's coming, man. man. He's bound by that. That's the father wrote in there, so it's gonna happen. Brothers, you will be a father, spiritual powers. Fine. You know, believe in that. You see? When when the evil Esau come down with that great wrath, he started looking for standing against him, man. Like the brother mentioned earlier, Daniel 12, chapter Michael the Archangel, third of commandment comes from brothers, man. And he was assigned under him. Deliver, brothers, the divine dimension is coming, man. The Lord is bound by his word of the prophecy, none of you shall fail, man. And also you can't get to it. You say he's he should have some things on his side, on his high side. It, but then once you realize that like, I can't put my trust in all these things because at the drop of a dime, you may have to leave it. Yeah, yeah. you need room for the you need room room for the miracles. The Lord wants yeah. you to have faith. In yeah. That. yeah, yeah. Well, the most all like, he has faith in that, but I'm going to leave him to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like the brother said, martial law come, terrorist attack come, tsunami come, that shit is done. Yep. Yeah, Zombies done. invade your household. <laughs> yeah, we got to go. got to go out the window right now. Yeah. 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 He'd be like, wait, wait, hold up. Now you walking, you really can walk. You feel like a walk. heavy. Yeah. You holding two bag, double bags, yeah. little food and water. <laughs> people gonna take that. Shit. Yeah, those preppers, they all, they all got a pickup truck, like big ass, even bigger Bug than that. trucks. Yeah, they got the big ass trucks. EMP go up. It's done. It's done. That's a target. That's a target. It's, you might as well have, you know, a bullseye in your truck. Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, you're the only house that got power. And everybody don't You got all your lights on. You got all your lights on. You know, it's nighttime. All your lights is on. Yeah. yeah. Back frying them with a large frying pan, you know, what's going to happen? That's torture, you know. Then the next brother, then the next, you know, each, each brother that I got, you know, that put the they got more and more bold, more and more, you know. Uh, no, no, I faith think I win my blocking out the sound some degree. I don't know. Isaiah 3, 3, and 6, for wisdom and knowledge, we disability our tongues. 
and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's our treasure, man. Fearing your Allah, Shem Yahweh Shai. Because he's bringing the hell. He's bringing the darkness. He's bringing the evil. He's bringing the, you know, the destruction, the death, the sword, the famines. But he's going to deliver us from the same, man. He's going to deliver us from that. You see? That's like um, a school shooter, you know, about to shoot up a school, right? We got that one person in there that he's cool with. He warned him, listen, I'm about to come and shoot the shit Just up. Just like Columbine. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. one of the guys, he told him, his, one of the few friends that he had, he said, you don't go to school on that day. And I'm telling you, do not come. He warned him, and he didn't. Yeah. Them guys, them two guys were just fucking wicked, man. man. Like, yeah. And they, they didn't even kill as much as they wanted to. Because they had bombs that, that didn't go off, I think, yeah, something like that. Bombs. Yeah, they wanted to blow up the school. Whoever ran out, they'll just pick you yeah. up from the parking lot. But that ain't work, so they had to actually go inside. They had to actually like, go inside. You know, like, them guys, like, who would think? This is way, this is in the 90s. Man. It's very straight for vengeance, man. man. These dudes were thinking of shit, and they became pretty much celebrities to these other uh, miscreants, mm -hmm. these other degenerates, man. Yeah. All right? But think about that. Like, just how they warned that person that they was cool with. That person didn't come, he ain't get caught up in that. The Heavenly Father warned us through the prophets, and we're warning, you know, through the Spirit, we're warning, man. But Will and Reynolds prophets coming back as well. I wonder if Edomite would think of some shit like that. And they killed that, that Jake called Isaac, I think. Uh, that was his name, Isaac? Yeah, I think uh, his name was Isaac. Uh, you look up Columbine shooting. <laughs> and it's like, you nigger, we never liked you anyway. Yeah, the guy, the guy said he was friends with the Jake, said he was under the table. He was acting like he was dead. And they pulled him out from under the table and they shot him. And I say, hey, well, guess what in the kingdom was going to happen? Take a wild guess. Edomites, you're going to be his slave. See, and he's he going to remember. He remember. Well, you're ready, probably in the spiritual realm. Like, I will get these two guys, man. We come back down. You know what I mean? You're ready, you probably talked to the father already. Yo, I want these two guys. Please, father, please. It was Isaiah. Yeah, hey, Isaiah, right? Isaiah Shaw. It was Isaiah Shaw, yeah. The so it says the black collarbone victim. He was the only one. Black combine. See? Wow. See? So, you know, like we said, you know, he probably went to the most high. Like, yo, I really want these two guys to be my slaves. Please, please. But tell you that in Revelation, the sixth chapter. They, they, they go to the most high. Like, yo, when are you going to bring the end? When? 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 You know? But everything got to happen in this, this, this proper season and time. So, you know, in the kingdom of heaven, them two guys, man, you know, they're going to get you in front of them thousand years, man. Oh, man. Oh, man, you going to pull them out of the table for yeah. a thousand years. Hell yeah. Because then they, they, they off themselves right after? Yeah, they off <laughs> If the pictures is online. They probably, yeah. they probably went to spiritual realm. Yeah. You know, saw the brother, the brother, you know, yeah. right there with the angels, yeah, the yeah. other brothers, the Israelites, looking like, you just killed, you just, you know, you know, fucked up. They were like, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah. You know, I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, but you guys, you know, they, Spiritual demons say was different. And guess who's their favorite artist? Marilyn Manson. Yeah. That's who their favorite artist is. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not surprised, man. Alright, go ahead. This is um, Revelation 6, verse 10. And they cry with a loud voice. What are you saying? mad about? What the fuck were they mad about? You see the neighborhood they grew up in? That Denver neighborhood? It was like they, they was living clean. Yeah. It's fucking, you know, these, these prissy schools, pretty lawn, fully detached home. Whatever they asked their mom for, they said they, uh, parents barely disciplined them. What they asked they, whatever they asked their parents for, they would have got it. They wanted to go to some um, um, fancy summer camp, uh, exotic vacations. They could have. So what were you two Edomites? What were you mad about? That would make you go into school and shoot it up, man? The Edomites think this can't have yeah. enough. You're just a degenerate, man. And say that they was getting a little bully, man. They can't take no type of uh, yeah. pain. Chastisement. You know what I mean? Go to a boxing gym. Learn how to fight. Learn how to defend yourself, man. Yeah, go train in MMA or something, man. Yeah. And what's your, what's your form of bully? You get bumped in the hallway? Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, man. And your book smacked up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get stuffed in lockers. Yeah. That happened to, that happened to Chris Rock every day. Oh, man. <laughs> but look at him, man. Did he start shooting the school up? It's not like no Jake bully and they running through your pockets and all that crazy that, That's what that Jake do, That's what Jake be doing. Jake catch you in your, what you, what you got in your pockets? Yeah, they yeah. tug in your pockets, they man. They snapping you up. What type of bullying was in that shit, man? Get out of here Come on, man. That, man. And Jake endured that. Yeah. Jake still went to the same school the next day, yeah. more money in his pocket, mm -hmm. still bought his, you know, bacon, egg, and cheese before school, you know, even though he was speaking pork, but, yeah. you know. Like, come on, man. So the need advice, man. Get out of here with all that, man. So imagine in the kingdom. Yeah. They can try to off themselves, man. And that's why these yeah. Edomites, um, uh, they, they, with this whole Vanessa thing, they were the ones who took it to the Supreme Court because they can't deal with this. This they couldn't deal with that yeah. ch that chastisement, man. 
see. Okay. Okay. So going back to it, it says, Revelation 6 and verse 10, And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true? Oh, yeah, let's read the black horse and then read the Okay, so jump, go, go to that. Okay. Go on. Right here. Revelation 6 and verse 3, And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Okay, that's, that's Aisha. But jump to the black one. Verse 5. Come on, verse 5, it says, And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say a measure of a wheat for a penny. And look up that word penny. You have you have the word there? I got you. I'm yeah, going to yeah, do that. Coordinates here. Yeah. Come, come. We're going to get, because people read that in like a penny. That's not, nah. Right? And all that's bread. That's all essential things, man. Okay? And that's what they used to, to, to make a lot of uh, food back then. Barley, wheat, you know what I mean? Flour, right? You got the oil. You see? Okay. Denarion. So the Greek word for penny is denarion. Yeah, that was a Roman denarius. Yeah, yeah, Roman denarius. It yeah. says equal containing ten. A Roman silver coin in the New Testament time. It took its name from. You being, remember the Greek? What they were using it in that paragraph? You remember the word? Uh, it was drachum. Dra dra drachum. Oh, drachum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It says it took its name from being equal to ten asses. A number after 27, uh, 217 BC increased to 16, about 3.898 grams or um, 1375 ounces. It was a principal silver coin for the Roman Empire. From the parable of the laborers in the vineyard, it was seen that denarius was ten was then the ordinary pay for day wages. For a day wages. That's what that word penny means in Revelation 6.5. Denarius on entire day's wages. So let's read that precept again. Come on. Romans 6 and 6, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. See, so it's going to take an entire day's wages to buy basic things. That black horse represents famine, death, mm. martial law. All right? So it's going to take a person an entire day's wages to buy certain things. That's what the scripture is saying. All right? Yeah, how does anything go on there? Oh yeah, we went to get Ezekiel 33. Yep, verse one. Right. Right. Ezekiel 33 verse 1. Again, the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai came unto me saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man for their coast and set him for their watchmen, if when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Yes, yeah, so we were saying, we warn you people about Vanessa. We warn you. You didn't take heed to the warning. Right? So guess what? It fell upon your head. Verse 5. Oh, it's still playing? Gone. Verse 5. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood should be upon him, but he that taken warning shall deliver his soul. Yeah, to deliver his soul. So had people took heed to the warning, they would have been in good case. A little bit, you know, you might just get punched up a little bit. Morphine shit. Yeah. Torture. Yep, yep. Might get a little tortured, you know, they may smack you up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? The next thing you know, standing, man. You know? Man oh man. E, so you gotta come. Oh, speaking man. of Jim, I saw I put my brother on to um, to the videos. And he be watching them. Yeah. He be watching oh, them and shit. Sure. I was happy, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's another thing too about famine. You know, you go to the definition of famine and the Google it says an extreme scarcity of food. Or the scream scarcity of food and water. The word famine literally means hungry, hunger. You know, and, and lamentation lets you know what? That's one of the that's one of the worst ways to die. It's better for you to get shot, 
you ready for you to get stabbed? Because it's instant. Because it's that that's instant death right there. Now say if you get stabbed in a certain artery or whatever pops, you know, you, you you know you dying, but it's like a minute, you know. Famine is taking you days, weeks. You're slowly decaying, slowly your dying. Your body's eating itself. It's, your body first eats the fats, then it gets the muscles, and then, now you're looking like you know they wither away like a snake. You having you having delusions. So, yup, yup. You're thinking of only you're thinking about like you know when, when brothers fast in the spirit of probably Alba Shimi Al Shai, you know you think about a lot of fruits. You, know, you think about fruits stuff like that, you know. So when you're, you're, you say if you're dying of a famine, you have no food, no water. You're thinking about the fruits of the field, man. And you start seeing people, they start looking like big giant fucking, you know, mangoes and shit. You know, I'm gonna eat this person, you know? They gonna be eating themselves. We're gonna get desperate. That's the second edge when he said people gonna drink their own blood and eat their own flesh. So if they if they if they're willing to chop chop with their hand and drink their own blood, what they gonna do to other people, man? They gonna try they gonna try that first. They gonna look straight out in the road. That was so that was gruesome. That, yeah, that movie, man. You see that movie? I think I did with they have people in a basement out chopping it. The limbs. father and the son? Oh, I haven't seen that one. I was I was thinking about the great. The dude was great. trapped in a home. Um, he trapped in a uh, the, like the some snowy place, like a snowy place, and he was getting chased by wolves. Mm. And he was like he was, he was trying to find water, food. He was drinking his own piss. Uh, See, let none of the resort to none of that, man. The scripture say what? Uh, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. My servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Isaiah 6, 5, 13. You know, we're not going to worry about that, man. Heavenly Father fed Elijah during that famine, man. The widow woman and her son. And when her son passed, he spread, you know, spread on Elijah to raise him from the dead. You know, had where they food they run out. Fed him by way of ravens. What about Daniel and the lions then, man? He was chilling with lions. That was hungry. They didn't, listen, they didn't even feed the lions, man. And the lions were chilling with Daniel then. The angel of the Lord teleported the prophet Habakkuk to Babylon to the lions then to bring Daniel food. And the lions didn't try to, you know, devour Daniel's food. The lions watched Daniel eat lovely, man. So we think we for the elect, man. And then when you see like homeless people today, they the same homeless man over there for years. You see him over there, you know, for a long time. Just, you know, how's he still kicking it? You know? The Lord provided for him. He he get his daily bread. What do you think we'll do for the elect? Man? Come on, man. The elect that could be out here, you know. Losing so much weight, they you know they can't barely speak. You know. That's what you say. You never seen the rights forsaken. Oh, you see begging bread. Brothers not gonna be running around begging for food. Please give me some. No, man. We can be walking around healthy, man. Why can we just eat a great meal? And we not we not even have to save that meal for the next day. The Lord be blessed with a beautiful meal for that day, and we can eat it all up. If you think about saving them, you losing faith. Well, let me save half of this for tomorrow because I don't know if I get for tomorrow. The Lord bless you for today. Focus on today, man. He gave you a nice steak. You know, you imagine that you got steak, some wine. You know, you got some nice water. You know, you got mashed potatoes. <laughs> you eating lovely. Eat that whole meal, you full. You know, now you got enough energy for that day to, to go on your journey because you know pilgrims upon the earth. You see, we're we're approaching that time. Have that mentality of you know just having faith in the Lord, man. He created all of this, man. You think it's impossible for him to give you some food and water? Well, he can make it appear right before your very eyes. Well, that's that's in, uh, Isaiah 10. I got it. Israel yeah. should not let her lie him that smoke down. Everybody gonna be dirty. Dirty as hell, looking like bums. And you got on a clean ass outfit, but you've been walking for two days. Your sneakers still look fresh. No, no, no. <laughs> Imagine that. You know? Like, yeah, like, how, you did for case, the, you like know? how you did for the, uh, the people in Egypt when they was walking through the forest. And he didn't, he didn't, um, they closed, they closed, didn't wither. Mm. They, they, they spoiled the Egyptians. They took all this stuff mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Egyptians gave it to them. Slack, y'all. Is it How does it go against Slack, y'all? Oh, Israel should not rely on that smoke. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where is it at? Slack, you're with me. I have this slack. What's it? I know the scripture you're referring to. Right here. So Isaiah 10 and 20, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. And not gonna, we're not going to rely on the beast anymore. We're not going to rely on the system. Yeah. You know, we're not going to rely on, you know, full for fours from Wendy's. You know, brothers should be eating all that fast food anyway. But, you know, as an example, we're not going to rely on going to the supermarkets, you know, using our credit cards and our savings to buy some. No, we're going to rely on the Lord, man. Yeah, that was for a time. Yeah, that was Who for a time. You shall go to enemies for the one of all things. That was for a time. Yeah. And our time is up. It's coming to, it's an, coming end. to an end. 
right? Now you got to rely on the Lord, just like they had to do in the wilderness. Yeah. That was an ungrateful multitude, but he, yeah. still, he still took care of them. Yeah. Even though they would entered the promised land, he still took care of them, man. So gave them manna, gave them quail. They was murmuring, yeah, they you know, murmuring complaining. All the time. What are they going to do for the elect? That's not murmuring or complaining. And they now, just waiting patiently. Man. And that ungrateful multitude is back in, back in the night. They gonna be the ones complaining in the family. Yeah, but he's you not know. gonna provide. He gonna, yep. he gonna they gonna see other brothers being provided for it, man. All right, and it says, "But shall stay upon Yahweh by Hashem Shai, the Holy One of Israel, in truth." See, you gonna rely on the Lord. In order to rely on the Lord, let's get Hebrews eleven and six. I feel like it dropped. When they said that, though, it's going to drop. Yep. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. It's shut, shut off. Oh, no, it's still on. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the heavenly Father must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. There you go. There you go. Got it. Must believe. Read it again. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. It's impossible to please the Heavenly Father without faith. It can't be done. Dead. For he that cometh to the Heavenly Father must believe that he is, and I said his name means, Yahweh, he is, he exists. Right? And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. It's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Now, who's seeking him? Let's get Psalm 24. Let's try. 34? No, 24. 24. So Russia, Ukraine, cyber attacks, famine, all of the above. Right, we're closer now. Yep, closer. Before we were just saying it, saying it, but now, now it's actually coming here now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. Songs! You, you other camps, like we said, can't get with the program. This Passover going to be major. I mean, major judgment coming after this Passover. Camps and you wax are worse and worse, man. Worse and worse, man. You know, we can't believe the type of the stupid shit you guys are putting in the doctrine. Man. See? Oh. Uh, uh, you know, the whole sex on the Sabbath, crazy shit. Uh, so, what did the deacon of God say the other day? The book of Hebrews, and I don't care what Mark said. Yeah, I don't care what Mark said. That was what else? It. Uh, the Apostle Paul's writers up for the bait. They teach yeah, the yeah. hat on, yeah. ski mask on, yeah, do rags, yeah, yeah. hoodies. Yeah. What else they do, man? Uh, you know, daggers. Daggers, sticks at camp, yeah. rap it's videos. Carry sticks at camp. You know? You know? The GMS hating on the I'm riding in the pants. pants. You know? Hey, what are you talking about, man? See, what else? Those are men, man. Oh, yeah, you got oh, yeah. Uh, Alizar, he was in that video, that rap video, you seen it? Yeah. I didn't watch the video. He, he, threw up, he threw up the gang sign. I didn't, I didn't wow. see I seen the clip of it. He, he said, threw oh, praise to the most high. He threw up the gang sign. I'm like, nigga, are you serious? Oh, praise to the most high. You throwing up gang signs? Nigga, you crazy, man. you like salt. He said, I swear to the most high, I'm not going to put you to death. Nigga, what? Mm. You talking to a woman who do necromancy, man. Yeah. Or can't that with your end door. Yeah. You're gonna swear to the most high, you're not gonna put her to death. And he he's the one who kicked them out the land. See? Wow. You got? Yeah, the GOCC as well. Oh, he yeah. came out of nowhere. We I haven't seen this guy in a minute. You know what I mean? He just came sprung back up. You know, he gotta save the Edomites. You know? That's his uh, uh his last mission. Make, make at least one Edomite get on a chariot. We trying to make it on a chariot. His goal is to get at least one Edomite on a chariot. Nigga, you're crazy, man. Bugger. You bugged out, man. But I'm supposed to teach a doctrine where I'm condemning them and all of that? Yes. That's what the scripture says, man. What the hell are you talking about, man? There's not scripture saying Esau is the end of the world and Jacob's the beginning of it following. The scripture said no more remain a house of Esau, man. There's no fornicator. No profane person is I Shaw. You don't know these scriptures, man? You say he's a board of wickedness, man. 
okay? He can't repent. He can't repent. And his seed can't repent, man. That's clearly in the Bible, man. And it's in the New Testament as well. Paul reiterated it. So no, no Edomite is going to make it on the chariots. That's crazy, man. That's crazy talk. And now the Edomite, none of you nations, okay, outside of the elect of the children of Israel, is going to make it on the chariots, period. Salvation was never promised to you, man. John, Psalms 24 and verse 5. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the Heavenly Father from the power of, of his salvation. This is a generation of them that seek him. This is that generation. So you got the generation that rejected him. Man, get that. I think it's John 7, or it's John 10, 19. This is a generation that accepted him, and this is a generation that rejected him. We both here. You've seen the men who rejected him, and you've seen the men who accepted him. Man. See? Well, Yahweh Shai said, all the righteous blood from Abel to Zacharias, you guys will have to pay for that. All right, y'all paid partially in 70 AD, but y'all really going to taste it because y'all gave up the son of man. All right? That was beautiful. Said all the, yeah. yeah. That's all I was looking at. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. beautiful sight wow. today, man. Yeah. The sun just popped back right up. Back up, man. Yeah. So satisfying when that heat hits you, too. Yeah, yeah. Because we talked about it earlier, Joshua, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it's, that's powerful. He said, sun stand still, man. And the Lord kept it up, man. And it's the scripture said that never happened again. You know? That's that's a probably how about Shemel Shah. You know, talking about carrying sticks at camp, man. That's far greater than that, man. Where you getting out? Oh, kind of got it. Slack it. John 10 and verse uh, 25? Yeah, it's one of the, yeah, the 1921 of them. The scripture said that there was a division. Yeah, got it. Yeah, verse 19, it's like it. John 10 and 19, there was a division, therefore, again, among the Jews for these sayings. And many of them said, he have a devil. Yeah, so them guys are back. Those Jakes who said that they're back. They're back in their life. Go ahead. And is mad on um, why hear ye him? Yeah, they back, man. That generation of two thirds niggas with their pants on the ass, who scoff and these, especially these women, they all back in a lot. And then you got the, the quote unquote leaders, right? Who are part of the, the, the Pharisees and Sadducees, the wicked ones. They back in a lot too. He did no miracles. That would be witchcraft. There's no chariots. He didn't turn water into wine. You know, I don't know what the docs we got. Oh yes, Herod was an Idumian. You niggas are probably um, cool with Herod in the past, man. He's, no, Herod wasn't an um, Idumian. He was an Israelite. <laughs> they said Herod was an Israelite. Alexander the Greek was an Israelite. Yo, you guys are funny, man. You know, and basically we know in the past he won the payroll, man. Right. You're not supposed to hate Herod, brother. He's an Israelite, man. I'm telling you through the scriptures, man. And, uh, Herod was not an Israelite, man. Herod was an Idumian. Idumian is a Greek version of what? Edom. Okay, Adam. And he was a he was a devil, man. A tear, man. And his bloodline, when you look it up, goes back to uh, Haman. to the history, John Icarnias, Simon Maccabee's son, was the one who converted a lot of Edomites into the faith, man. But they were wicked. So it says that faith would be shown to the wicked and he would not learn righteousness. So even though we try to convert them and circumcise them and keep these commandments, they still were the wicked. Because why? He tried to kill the Messiah. Herod, man. He told the wise man, yo, I want to I want to worship him, man. He was he's wicked. He tried to cut him off. See, just like they try to cut us off, but we can't, um, brothers and sisters, you know, supposed to have kept the rim and the feats in the canyon, right? They, they, they were trying to cut us off back then, man. The Seleucid Empire went in the canyon. It was the governor of Cyprus. You had uh, the governor of Messias, Chancellor of Syria. And they were all working underneath the what? The Seleucids, the Greeks, man. They tried to cut us off back then, but the Lord, the scripture says, um, 
He helped them with a little help as a Maccabean report, the Osmanian dynasty. You see? Now, and from the time of Simon, we were semi independent from the Greeks and started losing their influence. But then later on, the Romans came in and occupied Jerusalem and did even more slaughters, okay? And eventually destroyed it in 70 AD. See? What you got? Con. So going back to it, this a little more thing. Con. So John 10 and verse 21 now, it says, Others said, these are not the words of him that have a devil. Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? Yeah, so that's the elect. Division. So there's a vision. Like we said, that generation is back. And that other generation, they they back too. See, generation got stuck, got judged in the wilderness. They back. The ones who went inside of them, they're back too, man. The little ones, right? Because everybody underneath the age of twenty went in. The little ones, man. All right, Gad. Come. It's like. Verse 22, and it was at Jerusalem, the Feast of Dedication, and it was winter. Yeah, you see, Christians don't keep that. Uh -huh. Trying to tie, and, and that's, that's y'all, trying to tie uh, the Bible to Africa, man. You niggas, so what is this infatuation with goddamn Africa, man? We are not Africans, man. For the umpteen time, we are not Africans, man. Get that through your head, man. Okay, where you born does not determine your nationality, man. It's based on the seed of your father. What's the proof on that? Moses was born in Egypt, Africa. But he's not a Hamite, man. Okay, the most I made a difference between the Israelites and the Egyptians, man. We, a lot of our people were born in Goshen. That's an accident, right? Yeah. They were born in Goshen. That was the Egypt, man. But they weren't Hamites. They were Israelites, man. And we don't broke this down how many times, but you niggas... You stuck on stupid, man, with this Africa shit. And we told you Africa was the middle passage. The motherland. Yeah. We didn't start there. We wouldn't end up there, man. Okay? That was just a place where we were before we got shipped to this side of the world. Niggas can't let go of Africa. And it's funny. You could get a plane ticket and go over there. But of course you're not going to do that. You niggas love Africa so damn much. Go sit your ass over there, man. Go get yourself a hermetic woman. You know what I mean? And, and, and um, worship the ancestors over there. Why be the um, separate from your ancestors? Why would you want to be separate from the motherland? Go back over there, man. All right? Of course not. You niggas are full of shit. Okay? You ain't going to do that, man. Because you know deep down in your spirit, you would have to. You know deep down in your spirit, the shit that they eat and the things that they do, you would never do, man. It's not in your spirit to do that, man. It's not in your spirit to circumcise your woman. That's what they do. It's not in your spirit to put a plate in your lip. That's not in your spirit, man. It's not in your spirit to have all the retarded shit around your neck, jump, ooh, ooh, jumping up and down. The niggas, they, come on, they, come on, they beast over there, man. A lot of them drink blood. Just, just, you niggas wouldn't do that. That's not in your spirit to do that, man. You're different, okay? So you say, well, you don't put a difference between them. Israel and the Egyptians. The scripture says, you know what, you're a peculiar people. You know, a nigga made a point his pants below his knees a style. And it became a trend. That's a peculiar people, man. See? You're Wearing strange. Yeah, clothes, you know? yeah. Wearing your clothes crisscross in the past. The backward clothes. Hip hop. Hip hop. Like rhyming, the way those yeah. rhyming and stuff. Yeah. That came out of the ghetto. Like, right? And you made it what? A style. You made it a whole culture. See, the scripture says that what you're peculiar, meaning what you're strange. All right? That's a crack. And hell, the scripture says that she said, Oh, the Hebrew women are not like the Egyptian, but the Hebrew women are what? They're lively. They got flavor, they have rhythm, man. Okay? The Hamites don't got rhythm, man. You see the Hamitic rapper brothers put up that try to rap? No, you see that. With the big head, yo, that dude, yo, man. Oh my gosh. I look like a beast trying to rap, man. <laughs> the nigga trying to rap, yo, that video, oh my gosh, that was horrible. That was horrible, man. Like, Ham, hey, what are you doing, man? You know what I'm saying? You know, they showed a comparison to him and they showed up to the other Jakes that's in West Africa and they stopped.
it's, it's night and day. It's night and day. You, you got, actually, you got, um, over there, I believe, in the West Coast of Africa, drill music coming out. <laughs> over there, a lot of these um, West Indian Jakes doing drill now. You know, they, they be dancing, people, they got, they got style. And they do the too. same dances, you know, the little different things that Jakes over there be doing. Yeah, because yeah. it's the same people, it's the same spirit. Yeah. You can't, you can't fight the spirit. The scripts and the spirit bear what? Bear witness. Yeah. They action might be different, but the spirit in them is, is the same. You know? They gravitate to, to what you, you Jakes do over here. But it's the same, it's the same people, man. Huh. You know? You know, and you nigga, nigga can't get, I, niggas can't get that, man. You know what I'm saying? What you got? Uh, back to John 10. It says, and Yahweh Shai walked in a temple in Solomon's porch. Yeah, so we done with that. You yeah. know what I mean? We finished with that. But like we're saying, we getting on Christianity. Uh, I'm trying to tie. Let's get Acts 11, 26. I'm trying to tie us to Africa. We in Africa. Okay, we're going to get Galatians 4, 26 after this. Okay, we're the Israelites. Period. Oh, we banging on that, that African shit, man. Christianity, your time is up. We're kicking that down. And guess who were the fathers of Christianity? The Jake, man. Okay? Who came up with that whole uh, Christian bullshit? Uh, Christianity? It was the Byzantine Empire, man. Wicked ass Constantine the Great, man. See? So as our people came up with, well, we still ain't clinging to it because it's wicked, man. All right? Just like niggas came up with drill music. We ain't clinging to that shit, man. That shit is wickedness, man. All right? So, like we said, who were the fathers? You got these, these um, pedophile Pope sucking my, he's a church father. Nigga, you ain't no church father. The original church fathers were on with Jakes, man. Look at St. Basil. As soon as you put the Byzantine Empire in Google, you see the dark images, man. St. Basil, St. Gregory, St. Demetrius, St. Sergius. All right? Oh, um, what's this guy named? Uh, St. Nicholas, which that's a known fact. St. Nicholas from Egypt, Alexandria, Egypt. That was an Israelite. Okay? The whole Council of Nicaea, those are all bishops, those are all Israelites, man. Okay, but like we said, that Christianity shit, which that, um, it was, that came from Jake, and Aisha took it over in the Renaissance and whitewashed it, man. And gave you Cesare Borgia. Okay? But like we said, who started it? Let's say Acts 11, 26. Yeah. So, who, who started that Christianity? nonsense it was jake man they took different philosophies and they mingled it with the bible okay that's where christmas come from bound down to mary which that's nothing new even if you read the apocrypha you remember uh the goddess they worship in syria you remember uh, so, so, uh sorry, was, was, no, no 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 it's atergatis yeah that was the sir that was the uh i know you can put that online atergatis a T A R G A T I S. It's beautiful to go through history, man. You know? That's a lot of things you should do to write down, document it, put it in notes. You know, because um, like the Apostle Paul always say, um, we're scholars, man. Little do you brothers know, you are a scholar, man. Okay, it's not about just cursing out the white man. That's that's play. That's when you first come in, All right? Really, you changing as a man from the inside out. I mean, and learning your history, right? Like these famous philosophers used to say, "Know thyself and know thy enemy." All right? So, to so know who you are, know your history. This is real history, Israelite history. They talk about Black History Month, right? Which they don't even teach you real quote unquote Black history. Okay? Actually, I went to do a video on that too. But, um, Israelite slaves and whatnot. Maybe you still put the video up. The spirit for, you know, for me. You know, real history, man. Not this watered down garbage, you know, Martin Luther King and the civil rights movement.